Okay, so we've got a page frame table here. I apologize on the homework I gave you, I didn't give you um, the next page, which will help with your understanding. However, even without this information, you can kind of assume what the issue is. Let me explain. Pages will be uh, ran sequentially. They're all part of the same instruction, which is called instruction Y in this scenario. So it's basically saying to us in the question, we're currently here, we execute this. It's not a uh, branch instruction, so it's not like an if statement or anything like that. So it can't jump onto the next, onto a certain instruction, sorry, to a certain page. It's sequential. So we're now gonna be here. What is the issue? The issue is that the next page is not loaded into memory. It's not present in our memory. So page six is not present in our memory. That would get you two marks because the next page we're going to uh, need is page six, so that'll be one mark. And saying it's not present in memory is another mark. Instructions can only be executed if they are in memory because we can't have the CPU talking directly to our virtual memory. Therefore, that is another issue. So the instruction cannot be executed unless it's in the memory. So that's three marks. So you need to be mentioning this. It can't be executed unless it's in the memory. So, therefore, so that's another mark. Therefore, everything stores the program. I'm going to do P for program, or PR for program. Can't continue, so it stores. So it can't continue until page six becomes present. So it slows things down. So that is the answer to this question, that process Y executes the last instruction in page five. This is not a branch instruction. So immediately, if there's an issue and you don't even have this information, you would be able to say, okay, I'm assuming that the next page, which is page six, is not present in memory. 